I want to talk about the power in our words. So let's go to Proverbs 18 and 21. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So what does that mean? Literally, death and life are in the power of our words. So there is huge significance in our words. Even if you don't mean the things that you say, even if you are just talking trash or whatever else, there is power in your words. So if you continue to say that you are ugly, you are stupid, you are worthless, nothing you do goes right, so on and so on, you have to know that those words are going to have an adverse effect on you or effect on you. I really hope that makes sense. So let's go to... Or let me say this, let's say that you are always sick and you continue to say that you are always sick. You are giving life to your bad situation. Why not say that you are always healthy? Well, I am not going to say that because I am always sick. It is not lying when you say that you are always healthy because you are speaking life to your situation. Why are you going to continue to speak death over yourself? Why are you surprised that you are always sick when you continue to say that you are always sick? We just read in Proverbs 18 and 21 that there is death in life in our words. So, I can give more life to myself by speaking more positive about myself. So, if my words have that much power, why am I condemning myself even more? Does that make any sense? If God is telling me that death in life is in my words, why am I continue to speak negatively about myself? Makes no sense. Makes absolutely no sense. Let's go to Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 through 6 right quick. So as you can see here, Verse 1, it says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Let's skip all the way down to, let me see where to. Verse 3, And God said, and God said, and God said, and God said, Let there be light. And there was light. So what happened? God spoke something into existence. We are talking about the power in our words. God made us. We are the sons and daughters of God when we serve him. So, I am not saying that we carry the same power as God, the exact same power, no. But what I'm trying to say that there, there is power in God's words there is power in our words. Otherwise, why would he say this? Death and life in our words. So, you are in control of your situation. You have the choice to serve God or to not serve God. You have the choice to speak positive or negative. You are in control. So whatever happens to you, to a certain extent, it is in your hands.
So I really hope this makes sense. God bless.